Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Saturday, May 13th, 2023, and the Father's Word to us talks about divine wisdom. Mark chapter 6, verse 2 reads, And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him was astonished, saying, From whence has this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him? That even such mighty works are wrought by his hands. Our opening verse reveals how the people who heard Jesus teach in the synagogue were astonished by his teaching and doctrine. Hear what they said From whence has this man these things? What wisdom is this which is given unto him that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? First, they wondered at the source of Jesus' wisdom. It was beyond ordinary human cognition. And secondly, about the kind of wisdom that he operated with. The Bible describes three kinds of wisdom, divine wisdom, early and sensual wisdom, and devilish wisdom. Concerning divine wisdom, it says, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. This is in James chapter 3 verse 17. He describes the source and nature of divine wisdom that it's from above and pure. It is not mundane and concited. It produces excellent fruits and it's without hypocrisy. Pastor says, this is the wisdom you possess as a child of God. Divine wisdom operates in you. You have higher and superior intelligence. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 8 says, God has abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Prudence is practical insight and moral intelligence. Beloved, you do not lack wisdom. Paul said, Howbeit, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. This is in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6 to 7. The wisdom that God ordained for our life of glory and perfection as children of God. Let that wisdom of God be seen in the things you do. Demonstrate it in your words and actions. Jesus said, Wisdom is justified by her children. This means your works must express the wisdom that's functioning in you. Exude excellence and perfection in your work. Produce top-notch results and be always outstanding in your field of endeavor. Hallelujah. Please make this declaration with me. The wisdom of God is at work in me. I am full of divine wisdom. I produce excellent and extraordinary results in my endeavors. I'm filled with divine qualities and dispositions. I am wise and intelligent. Praise God. As a reflection, the wisdom of God in you makes you extraordinary as a child of God. Read and meditate on James chapter 3 verse 13 to 18 in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 to 16. With Herald of Glory devotional, every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius G. Christ Lord, Herald in the Glorious Church.